Hey guys, it's James with Heirloom Aquaponics doing an up update video for June 8th. Wanted to give uh, everybody uh, an update on the growth of everything from the last video so we can kind of get a, a context of the growth rate of everything. So these I just seeded today. Be the youngest, I guess you can you can uh, you can call them. Uh, these will be about a week a week older here. And we're doing uh, five different varieties of Salanova with romaine, some butter. You can start to see the different ones here. So we have them spaced out, separated for the different time periods. So youngest there, week older here. We have a space. So then here's another week. Um, it's going to be our green Batavia lettuce green butter lettuce we have the romaine there with uh, some uh, sorrel then red oak leaf and uh, butter lettuce there um, some some weeks we don't have all of our varieties but we try to keep all of our varieties up in swing as long as we have enough reds versus greens it's it's okay uh, so now these now are another week older even so these are ready to go into the system uh, you can see this uh, this red red oak leaf really really loves it. Um, actually, that's like that's the red butter. And then here, this is actually the red sweet crisp. Some remain there that we put out into the system. Sorrel that's ready to go out into the system, and that's our green Batavia um, Salanova lettuce, and then our green butter. Uh, these are a week older even, but you can tell they aren't any bigger. They just get to a point where they're, um, they get kind of stunted in, in the size cell that they are. So uh, we find that it's best not to use those anymore and to move on to these healthy looking guys. So they transition from this size here into our trough. So these got planted about a week ago uh, when we last harvested. And their root systems get to be looking about like that. Uh, the growth rate, they don't look that much bigger than uh, when we put them in here, but it's just because they're focusing on their roots. We get down even just a little further, these guys are gonna be on a different planting. And you know, they've got some longer root systems. They're starting to thicken up. We try to uh, plant very often to match our harvest schedule so then uh, we're minimizing any waste, which we'll go through at the end. Uh, right here, you can see they're noticeably starting to get bigger. And their root systems are starting to get very robust. Our uh, DO in the system uh, right now is hanging out a little over seven PPM try to keep it solid like that. Um, it depends on the, the water temperature, it'll fluctuate, so you have to be really careful if your water temperature is changing. Like right now, it's a really hot day. It's 90 degrees outside, but um, we have this nice 50% uh, shade cloth over most of the greenhouse um, and all the grow area, and then that transitions to a 90% over there for the fish area. So. Um, now, you can see these guys are starting to get noticeably bigger. This is almost, you know, it's nearing a harvestable size. Not quite there, but uh, let's see, there we go. It's starting to look like what you want to see, pearly white. You notice we have a little bit of this here on the edge. That's from uh, algae growth on the edge of the trough. You can see that we're not perfect with our measurements, so uh, there's a little bit of uh, uh, carry over there. Here got our spinach to a little experiment it's been growing very nicely take a look at the root systems here they have a little bit of, they grow a little differently than the lettuce you know they're a little stringier but you know there we'll see if we want to continue to grow those um, since cilantro is doing really well um, starting to bolt that's my fear um, because it's getting warmer sometimes these things like to bolt and we're trying to keep our water temperature down, but it's, you know, it's getting a little higher. All this bolted too, it's the arugula. So these are things and examples of what we won't continue to grow because, you know, we can have this or we can have that. 
in the same space, same time. These were planted same place, same time. Um, and look at these guys, you know, this is a beautiful tray here. Starting to get some really nice looking root systems. And then this is our red sweet crisp. That's what that starts to look like. And you can see we're starting to get bigger, bigger. Here's our nice, beautiful green butter lettuce. And those are a week older than those last ones we were looking at. You know, you can tell they're not that much bigger, but they're, I mean, they're, they're pretty, they're, they're sizably bigger. Uh, this is the stage where they start to just, overnight, you'll notice a difference in growth. Um, this is that green Patavia that I've been talking about. The second green variety that we introduced, uh, we replaced some of the other ones we've tried. And those guys back there are starting to get big and robust. Um, can't stop without looking at these edible flowers I'm doing. I'm gonna harvest these uh, tomorrow for the first time. See how that goes. I'm still trying to work out how I wanna go about doing that. I'll probably uh, pull out some of the stems so it has longer life and get it cold as fast as possible. Um, these big guys are taking a little longer to bloom, but they're on their way. Um, here is our red butter lettuce at the harvest size. Gorgeous. Um, the red or green Batavia behind here at harvest size. Anything you see coming up here is harvest size and uh, above harvest size. So uh, we're getting it to the point where our, our supply is a little more than the demand currently or what we're going through. These root systems on the marigolds are just getting silly. It's nice, all that is surface area that the bacteria can live on and you know, translate our 400 uh, rainbow trouts, uh, you know, living in the water into nutrients for these guys. That's our sorrel. That's at harvest size there. Um, we'll bring it in uh, with the root plugs and all so it has longer longevity on the, the restaurant line. And this is what our uh, green butter lettuce looks looking like full harvest size. It's just, it just looks so good. A little bit of algae on the side there, but then you see beautiful, beautiful, pearly white, just matted root systems. It's beautiful to see. Um, and then over here now, our romaine is harvest size. Over here we have our green oak leaf. It's a little too big. This is an example of something that's grown too big in your system that you want to uh, get out. So we only have one tray that's really too far gone, so it's not too bad. But look at this romaine. Oh my god. It is... Harvest size. I'm going to be harvesting it tomorrow. We don't have too much at this size yet, but that's enough to get us through about a week. Maybe a, maybe a week and a half. But I wanted to just give you guys uh, an oversight. See where everything's at, June 8th. And uh, until next time, if you like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, like the, like the video. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.